Hello friends, you are watching EduTech and HealthTech channel. Today I want to tell something about myconazole ointment and fluconazole tablet. I combine it because these two are belongs to same group. These are antifungal agents. Antifungal agents are actually many types. These are polyene antibiotics, echinocandian antibiotics, heterocyclic compound, azoles. L-alamine, anti-metabolite and other topical antifungal agents. These two are belongs to azoles. Azoles are two types, imidazoles and triazoles. Myconazole belongs to imidazoles. This is belong to imidazoles. And uh, this is uh, fluconazole is belongs to triazole. Now I will tell something about myconazole. They are used topically for dermatophytes and candida, candida infection. They are available as cream, gel, lotion, solution, spray, vaginal, pessary, etc. And uses are dermatophytic infection. Both are useful for tinea pedis, tinea cururis. Tinea corporis, tinea versicola, and candida infection. They are used for the treatment of oral pharyngeal, valvo vaginal, and cutaneous candidiasis. Myconazole is also useful in automycosis. Its side effects are this are local irritation, itching, or burning. Myconazole is safe for during pregnancy. Now I will tell something about fluconazole. It is a triazole. It is available for oral and intravenous administration as well as for topical use in the eye. As it is tablet, we should take it orally. It has broad spectrum of antifungal activity and it is less toxic than ketoconazole. It is oil absorbed from GI tract and has high, high bioavailability. Food or gastric Peace does not affect its viability. It is poorly bound to plasma proteins and widely distributed in the body and freely processes blood brain barrier and reaches high concentration in the CSA. It is mainly excreted in urine in the unsensed form. Its side effects are the common side effects are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal discomfort. And other side effects are headache, alopecia, skin, rashes, and hepatic necrosis. You have to know it is contraindicated during pregnancy because of teratogenic effect. And fluconazole is an enzyme inhibitor. Its main uses are candidiasis. Fluconazole is effective against oesophageal, oropharyngeal, valgovaginal, cutaneous, and invasive candidiasis. And also useful for cryptococcal meningitis. Intravenous fluconazole is the preferred drug in the treatment of cryptococcal meningitis. And also, coccoidioidal meningitis. In intravenous fluconazole is the drug of choice. And it is not effective in the aspergillosis. Thanks for watching, friends. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel for latest video.